Okay, <clears throat> hi. So today I'm going to show you some work I'm experimenting with on Adobe Sketchbook Pro. Okay, so here's the Adobe layout for those of you that know it already. It's got, I've got the brush properties open, the tools and the um, toolbars here and the colors. Okay, so what I'm going to do to start with is to create a new layer in the layer tab. So we've got the background and the layer. So in this layer, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to add um, an image. Now this image is a sketch that I made um, the other day in Montreal in Canada. And you can scale it here using this. Okay, so I'm going to put it here and scale it down a bit move this up and then I press make sure that's what I want and then I will crop it so I'll get rid of the other little images around it and I made this image um, just through traditional drawing and it's a street it's a lamppost in Montreal and I just used a pen and a paper then I photographed it um, into my computer. So now it's a digitized version of the drawing. Um, it's also, you could also scan it. Scanning would probably give a better quality image. Right, so I'm going to take that down there. It's annoying me. Right, oh, and I'll move this here. Okay, so now we've got this. So this is on the new layer, right? So what I'm going to show you here is just a simple way to mess around with traditional drawings on in digital format. So go to this bar here and where it says normal, I want you to go to multiply and you'll see what's going to happen because when I draw on this layer, I highlight the background layer, when I draw here, it's like you, it, you can see under it, it's like a transparency, okay? So that's the effect I want. So what I want, the result I want to achieve from this little experiment is that I want the colors to look quite print blocky, you know, like a traditional print. So it's not too precious about where the corners are. It's going to be quite fluid like the sketch, the, the original sketch. So I'm going to go to color and I'm going to think about what sort of sky color. So this is an okay sky color for now. Okay, and I'm going to take the size of the brush up and then I'm just going to start brushing over the areas that I want to be the blue sky color. And in this demonstration, I'm just going to use about two or three simple colors. Um, so I'm going to do all this very, very quickly. Yeah. So I'm going to do it so quickly. I'm not even going to edit this movie. Right. So it's beginning to take shape with the color. Yeah. So, just color in this bit. Right. And um, this effect is quite an interesting thing to do, and you could use it in comic books, for example, where you want to retain the original, you know, traditional image, but then you want to add some color without using inks. And if you're digitizing your comic anyway, then there's not really any point in using real life inks if if you want to do it in this way yeah so okay so that's um that's the blue in right so now i'm going to just get a bit of yellow that nice orange yellow you get on the lampposts in canada and the usa so it's like quite a nice oops just went over that a wee bit too much so i'm going to take that size down and then paint around here and here very very quickly i'm just doing this as quick as i can just to show you the the potential yeah so and also i like the rough look i like the fact that it's not too precious we're not trying to you know make it really accurate so the colors are going over the edges of the drawing and th this adds to the loose effect you know the traditional drawing image effects 
Right, so that's a bit of that. And what should we make the lamppost? Okay, let's make it a red. Should we make it red or green? Oh, no, I think I think reds here will be a nice colour. So usually the red's down there, I think. So that's got to... Let me stop. Right, so select this layer. And as you can see, when you put it onto the normal bit here, you can't see through it. Add completely makes it go crazy. And then multiply does the effect that we want. So if you want to... What I'm trying to do is show you that if you do traditional drawings, you can take them into um, Sketchbook Pro or a similar package, use this, use the transparency, and then, you know, start messing around with the colors here. Um, I'll just, um, shall I make this man yellow or shall I leave him? Okay, I'll leave him. And then I'm going to go down here and you can sort of make the signs a bit more black. Okay. So if you want, you can sort of get around these signs here, du, 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 like that. So, okay. And then if you want to make the backgrounds a bit whiter, you can take the backgrounds to white. Yeah. So just get that. And you can get areas more white behind it like that. Okay. I think that's about it. So. Here you have a very quick way to add colors onto your sketching, be them urban sketching, imaginary sketching, whatever. And, you know, as it is this, I'm quite happy with this rough look. It's very energetic. I like to try and keep the energy in my work up. And um, you could almost turn it into quite a quick comic. Okay, well, thanks for um, listening and watching. And um, tune in soon for another screencast. All right, cheers, bye.